Across live now to our reporter, Irena Smith in London. Tēnā koe, Irena. E kia ora, Scotty. Yes, it's been a massive couple of days for our rowers. Yes, and uh, New the New Zealand rowing camp must be party central in London at the moment. How was it last night? Oh, they've been just celebrating uh, right throughout ever since we got our first gold medal in the rowing team. Um, today they had a barbecue to wrap up all the rowing uh, out at Eaton Dorney where they've been based for this week. It's about an hour out of, out of London. Uh, that's where they've been staying. Um, and we went along to the barbecue and that's where I caught up with our bronze medal winners Storm Uru and Peter Taylor who looked absolutely knackered. Um, they said it was a tough race and here's what Storm Uru had to say. The heart was really on, the legs were starting to scream and you know, Pete and I were just going as hard as we could really, really trying to um, sprint towards the line and really just do as well as we could do. And Storm's parents Bill and Robbie were there to watch him win bronze. This was their reaction after the race. It felt really good. Yeah. Yes, we really, the butterflies went from the tummy as soon as they crossed the line. It was really quite good. Now all of Southland and Ngaitahu must be extremely proud, not only of Storm, but of course his brother Jade, who raced the men's fours. A bit of a disappointment for him though, uh, Edina. Yeah, it was always going to be a tough one uh, for Jade and the men's fours. Um, it was a tough race. They were in a, in a tough lane. Um, and, you know, although he was disappointed, um, for him it was really important for them to do still do well. Um, I guess he was uh, looking at a sponsorship and hoping that that was going to continue post-games. Of course, Ngaitahu is one of those sponsors, and I'm sure they were, they were watching, and I'm sure they were still proud of his efforts. They did come fifth in their B final. Um, although disappointing, it's not over for Jade and this is what he had to say. Growing's my life at the moment so I'll continue to do it and uh, I'm only 24 so I'm looking forward to getting back in the boat uh, when we get home and, and showing that this isn't just what our New Zealand small boats can do but our big boats can perform well as well. Now the rowers have got a few golds Eden there was there a few huckers going down after the winds what was the celebration like? We haven't seen many haka at this Olympics yet, um, although I was speaking to Trevor Shaler, who's the athlete support person who's been going out to uh, watch our rowers. He said uh, when Mahe Drysdale and the um, men's pair won gold yesterday, he just couldn't help it but help but break out a haka, uh, and a couple of others kind of jumped in with him. But I guess we just haven't seen that spontaneity that we see at, at things like the Commonwealth Games. I guess those games are more like a friendly game whereas this is, is very controlled uh, here at the Olympics. But that could change tomorrow because the rowing team will be uh, whakatoed or pōwhirid into the village. Um, as I said, they've been staying outside of London um, throughout the rowing competitions and tomorrow they will be uh, officially welcomed into the athletes' village um, by all the other athletes that are there. Um, so I'm, I'm sure there'll be a few emotional moments there and maybe some haka there. After that, they'll head down to Kiwi House. Now, that's where... A lot of Kiwis here in London have been going along to watch um, the New Zealanders perform. Uh, and so I think there might be a few haka uh, broken out there and, and, and perform there for the team, um, celebrating in the success. I mean, they're, they're our most successful sport so far. Um, so I'm sure uh, it'll be a great day tomorrow for mm. them. Eden, uh, most of us aren't going to get to go to the Olympic Games. I mean, my 100 metre time back in the day wasn't quite fast enough. So tell us, what's it been like being at the Olympics? Hiko hiko ana te wairua, Scotty. It's just an amazing feeling to be here. And I mean, although we're non rights holders and we can't get into the events, I mean, you still feel the buzz that surrounds the Games and just seeing the thousands and thousands of people pour in and out of the Olympic Park that's just behind me, uh, where the athletics is just wrapping up. And I mean, from here, we can just hear the crowd going wild um, at all the athletics finals. Um, Great Britain has just been cleaning up um, th this evening with a few goals gold medals um, in the aquatic centre as well that's been going off so you just you can hear it you can feel the buzz um, around London and I guess um, you know on, on the trains people are talking about it and I guess people are here from all over the world uh, so you're just you're hearing all the different languages and um, yeah it's just it's just a cool feeling mm. Scotty. And what's been your highlight so far? 
I guess when we won our, our first medal, um, although it was a bronze, and then we won our first gold medal, uh, it's just a sense of pride, I guess, and, and also being here to kind of uh, celebrate and, and bask in the, in the success of our, our New Zealand team. Um, it's just great to see how well we've done um, so far. We're punching above our weight. Uh, we're, uh, we're ahead of Australia, which is, uh, we've got a few Aussies in our um in our office, uh, sitting beside <laughs> us in our media office here. Um, it's been a, a bit of a laugh. But, um, yeah, just seeing how successful we've been on this world stage has been um, a really cool. Mm. Any other Māori athletes still to compete? Yes, there certainly is. Um, not till the end of uh, the week, though, we have Lisa Carrington, who, our, who is our other big medal hope uh, as a Māori. She'll be in the kayaking uh, towards the end of the week. And also Karen Hanlon, our mountain biker from Whakatane, they perform uh, on the same day uh, the, towards the end of the week. We've also got um, Brent Newdick in the decathlon. And our hockey girls have just beaten USA tonight 3-2, so they're doing extremely Extremely well. They've won three games out of four. Uh, they go on to play Germany now, and I think they must win this game to, to carry on and get into the playoffs. So, well, our Māori athletes have done so well. Um, others, our swimmers, have, have unfortunately not made it through, um, but it doesn't matter. We've, we've got over 10% uh, Māori athletes at this Olympic Games, and I'm sure they've done their iwi, their whānau, and all of us proud here. Without a doubt. Now, I know you've been kept extremely busy over there, Eden in London, but we've had a bit of sport going on back here. I'm sure you were sad to miss the Chiefs' victory last night. Well, you know what, Scotty, I just couldn't bear to miss it, so I was up this morning watching it on the internet, <laughs> and uh, and what a game, what a game, just uh, amazing to see the Chiefs um, do well, they deserve it. Um, and uh, and also great to see uh, a few of the Chiefs get into the All Black squad, so um Great to hear, uh, and we're celebrating over here for them as well. Kia ora, Irina. Have a great week, and we'll talk to you again soon.